This is Dutch Plays, and welcome back to Fallout 4, where today we are going to take a quick look at a mod that was pointed out to me. And I think this mod's amazing, and I want to tell you why. This mod is called Precise Object Moving and Rotating. And the reason I think this mod is so great is that if you've seen any of my other Fallout 4 videos, you've noticed that in all of my settlement building, I, am, I heavily, heavily use the console commands. And what I'm talking about there is, if we didn't like the height of this object, what we could do is type in get position Z on that object. It would tell us the position Z or the height is 980. And that way we could do is set position Z to 1000 and that would move it up. And you have to do all that by hand. And that's just the height. The height's the easy one. The, the left, right, front, back, and all those positionings, that's determined by the X and the Y axis. And that can be a very time consuming process. First, you have to get the position of what it is and then you have to set the position of what it is and if you make a mistake you can really screw things up this mod alleviates all those problems and let me show you how basically what you need to do is the mod requires a third uh, a third program called auto hotkey you get that by going to autohotkey.com and you download and install that and normally I would be leery of using a third program that's not like a mod manager or something. Like I don't want to use anything with Cheat Engine or anything that has comes with a lot of adware. I haven't noticed anything with this, so I think it's I think it's good. And then you get the mod from the modder, and you just double click that so that it's running while you're running Fallout 4. And what that does is it changes the inputs for the numpad keys to make them actually uh, inputs into the console. So to adjust the height with this program running. All we have to do is hit the plus or minus key and there it goes. It changes the position Z, which is the, again the height, up or down using plus or minus. And there we go. Let's bring that back down. There we go. So if we wanted to move this over to the right and that's going to be in this case I built this platform north, south, east, and west to make this a lot more clear. But if we wanted to move it over to the right that would be east and so we go back into the console and we hit the 6 key and that's going to move it over to the east. want to move it west, you hit the 4 key and there it goes. If we want to move it away from us to the north, that's going to be the 8 key. Back towards us to the south, that's going to be the 2 key. And there you go. It's as simple as that. It's great. Now, right now, it is in normal mode. So every time we hit the key, or hit a key, it's modifying the position in whatever direction we're telling it to by 5 points. If five points, so let's say we modify this wall, move it over here to get it as close as possible to where we want it to be, but five points is too much when we get there and we need a more exact number, so we do that by turning numlock on and now it's in smooth mode and it will only adjust the position by one. Let's go back to normal mode and let's say we actually wanted this wall to be diagonal. Well, we can change the Z angle, which is the, uh, the 360 orientation of it, by hitting the min or the hitting the divide key or the or the times key and there we go. Look at that. Or let's say that was too far, let's rotate it back the other way and there we go. It's 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 really simple. Now you can also modify different things like you can modify the x angle and the y angle and I think nope, that's the wrong one. 93 is the y angle and that's going to rotate it like this too far. Well, much too far. Let's bring it back to where it was originally. So we hit the 3 key and bring it back. Now, let's say we, maybe we wanted to make this wall into actually a ramp. So we would tilt it away from us using the X angle, like so. And there we go. And, well, let's say we didn't want to do that, so we bring it back using the 1 key. Like I said, I think this is absolutely brilliant. Um, Link to this mod is in the video description. Uh, if you if this is something that interests you, then be sh and you download it and use it, be sure to endorse that guy's mod. Many thanks to him as well as to Jabo for pointing this out to me. Uh, anyway, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.